All right, we have another question. This question is asking, how can a how can a ninth grader make varsity or junior varsity as a freshman? Um, and I could answer and just say, you know, be good enough, but I don't, I don't feel that's enough. So I'm going to say, um, okay, so say you're in the eighth grade now. Uh, you play basketball. Um, figure out a way to... To, to meet up with the guys who do play junior varsity or, or find out where they you know have their open gyms at usually after this after the season um, how high school is formatted a lot of players they have a certain period of the day or a certain class where they go and play basketball and um, if you can figure out a way to get up there you know after your school or something like that and get on the court with those guys and getting good with those guys or maybe even talk to the coach and say you want to come out and help for a little bit, you know, on the away games. He can show up on, say, a Thursday, Friday night game, you know, be the ball boy, or just ride with the team as an eighth grader, you know, rebound balls and, you know, shoot around in halftime and stuff like that, or be like a manager type deal. And then, uh, of course, you're going to be good at, you know, good at basketball. So once you're in the eighth grade, you're already with the team, you know, you're rebounding balls, you're on the court with them, you're getting to know the junior varsity coach or the varsity coach as well. You're getting to know them, getting to know the system a little bit. And so uh, say, you know, once it comes around to the season ending and, uh, you know, right before graduation, you talk to the coach and say you're going to go out for, you're going to go to that high school, you're going to go out for that, you know, that team and you want to make that team, just put it in his ear, you know, just let him know what you're about, what you're trying to get done. And then obviously sharpen up your skills, be as good as you possibly could be. And uh, once you start high school, you know, go to those tryouts and, you know, at the end of that first semester, and uh, you know, get it going. You know, get, get, you know, handle your business on the court, and uh, show the coach that you're not playing around. But the thing is, you're a freshman with a whole bunch of other freshmen. They're they they're mainly going to put most of the freshmen on that freshman squad. But since you already you already know the coach, you shook his hand, looked him in the eye before. You've played with some of the players before. You you know the system because you've helped out with the squad. Um, you know, you you know where the school is and how to get around and like who to talk to for this and that. So you're kind of affiliated with the with the team already. Then that'll make it way more easier for you to make junior varsity than just being on freshman with the rest of the freshmen who just did it the traditional way of just you know playing in the eighth grade, you know, showing up freshman year and just saying, hey, I want to play basketball. So um, there's always another way to you know get around it, and that's that's a great way to do it is by getting in, on the team before you actually get on the team. You know, getting good with the team before you even try out and get some shots up and, you know, have to do all that with the rest of the freshmen. You know, that you know, you don't really have to tell everybody what you're doing. Just go up there and just help out. You know, just be coachable, be a nice guy, be a stand-up guy, you know, be on time. Um, and then I'm pretty sure that will get you to where you want to be. Um, yeah, thanks for this question. Share this with anybody you think might want to know this answer as well. If you're watching and you want to shoot a question at me, just go ahead and go to fouryearathlete.com. You know, type in a question, I'll feel free to answer it. And uh, click that subscribe button if that if I'm actually helping you out in all this. And uh, thanks for sending the question. Feel free to send it, feel free to send in more. Thank you.